Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to be looking at how we multiply the difference of two squares. Now, just let me explain what's a difference of two squares. And I believe it's quite evident. Let's look at the brackets carefully here. If you notice, in this bracket I have p plus 8. And inside this bracket I have p minus 8. Um, it's a square, meaning that the a square means that something is being multiplied by itself and a difference means to subtract so basically what I have in inside this bracket is the same thing I have inside this bracket but only thing that separates both is I have a plus in this bracket and a minus in this bracket and if you look at it carefully you'll see it likewise in this bracket there is 5h minus m and over here I have 5h plus m so when we're speaking about a difference of two squares um, it's this it's it's just you you're you're multiplying the same thing by itself the only thing inside the only difference is that in one bracket there is a plus sign and in the next there is a minus sign so how do we go about this um it's very easy let's just expand the bracket so i am going to use p to multiply p okay like that then i'm going to use p again to multiply negative 8 that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to use let me change the color I'm going to use it to multiply this P there okay and then I'm going to use this 8 again to multiply that 8 okay so let's see what we get so this is saying P times P P times P will give me P square so I'll have a P square and P times negative 8 will give me negative 8P. And I've used P to multiply these two terms here. So I'm using 8 now to multiply the same two terms. So A times P, I'll have a positive 8P. And A times negative 8 will give me a negative 64. Okay, now I can go ahead and I can simplify my like terms. Okay, I have like terms here, so I have a negative 8p plus 8p, so both will cancel out each other. Okay, 8p minus 8p leaves us with a 0. So what I have here essentially for my answer is p square. p square minus... 64 and that's my answer beautiful so that's how we multiply a difference of two squares all right let's move on to the next again we're going to be doing the same thing i'm going to use in this case in this case 5h i'm going to use 5h to multiply 5h okay and then so 5h is going to multiply that 5h and then 5h is going to multiply that m over there that's what i'm doing and again i am going to use negative m to multiply 5h there and then i'm going to use the same negative m to multiply m there okay and we can look at it it's pretty easy okay so this implies this implies that uh, 5h times 5h so i'm going to multiply 5 times 5 is 25 25 and h times h is h square and then i have 5h again i'm going to multiply that with m so i'm going to have a positive times a positive will give me a positive 5hm and then i'm going to use negative m now to multiply this 5h inside this bracket so a negative times a positive will give me a negative and m times 5h will give me 5hm. Again, I'm going to use this m, negative m, to multiply this positive m and a negative times a positive will give me a negative. And m times m will give me m square. Beautiful. Now, if you notice what's happening here, I have like terms to calculate. So I can say 5hm will f minus rather 5hm these two will cancel out they are like terms okay so essentially what we have left here is we have our neg sorry we have 
or positive 25 25 h square minus m square and that's our answer okay and it's pretty easy and just just for a note if you notice that there is a trend when multiplying the difference of two squares right um, this is the correct way in which you should always practice but I like to show you some little neat tricks uh, with this thing if you notice the first term here P in, in example a exercise a the first term here P is as if I took P and I square P and then I use my negative sign and I took 8 and I square 8 and I said 8 8 is 64 so if you notice what I have here by just looking at it by intuition it's as if I took P and I square P I said P square minus 64 I square the second term now again if you look here what we got is as if I have squared 5 H so 5 5 would be 25 and H square H square would be the square term here and then I put my minus sign because I'm dealing with a difference of two squares and it's as, as if I took m and a square m okay so that's just a little neat way of looking at it alright I'm going to ask you to try these two down here and we look at the solutions in the next video okay it's always good to try and if you have any questions or comments you could always leave them and we'll try to respond to you as soon as possible thank you bye